Okay, so we're going over the Port Kaituma incident with Congressman Leo Ryan. Congressman uh, Leo Ryan was a Democrat from California, and he was a World War II vet. And the interesting thing about Congressman Leo Ryan is Congressman Leo Ryan had his own strategy, his own policy and politics. One of the things he did that really stuck out to me was he actually went and checked himself in to the penitentiary. I believe it was Folsom, right? And, or maybe it was San Quentin or Folsom. But he said he wanted to be a congressman to go into prison for a week and see how it was. He went in there for a week, about a week, a few days or whatever. Um, when the Watts riots were going on, he went and lived with a black family in Watts during the riots, which would be insane. For the Watts riots were one of the worst riots in history. And for a white middle, for a middle class white man to go live with a, with a black family during that time is like insane, you know, and he was a substitute school teacher at the time. So Congressman Leo Ryan had a lot of heart. He wasn't a punk. And he did a lot of other great things. But when he went down to Jonestown, Jim Jones was saying they were they were brainwashing the people saying Congressman Leo Ryan is racist when it was the other way around. It was the people in Jonestown running that place that were racist. Congressman Leo Ryan was trying to help these people get out. And, you know, they never would have been able to pull off what they did in Jonestown without the assassination of the congressman. And the assassination of the congressman created a twin operation. Um, but they waited until the congressman got back to Port Kaituma. Because had they killed the congressman in Jonestown, the Secret Service and other federal agents immediately would have had to go into Jonestown. So what they did was they pretended like they were going to cut him. He ended up leaving Jonestown. And he took people with him. He saved people's lives to this day. Um, when then when he got to Port Kaituma, he was assassinated. But the congressman knew about the mind control operations that were going on down there. He knew about the lewd conduct charge. I think he knew about the body doubles. I think that's one of the reasons why they got rid of the congressman. He because congressman would have been afraid to say it wasn't Jones. Uh, so the congressman ended up getting assassinated, and they locked the airport. They locked the airport down. They locked Jonestown down. And no government agents officially went into Jonestown for three days. And that gave them the time to rearrange the scene in Jonestown. But the congressman assassination um, it, it w w was, a, was a sad thing. And, you know, I risked my life researching Jim Jones and the People's Temple in Jonestown. And, you know, there was a lot of good white people in Jonestown. Or a lot of good white people that were helping these black people in Jonestown. And, unfortunately... All these people really believed in what they were doing down there. And they were swayed and wooed and bamboozled by sheep's and wolf cl wolf's clothing. Unfortunately, I don't know where the actual Jim Jones went after Jonestown. You know, I discovered the body double thing, but the congressman, you know, he was he was a big The congressman, he was a big inspiration to a lot of people. And so today we're going to give it up for the congressman, Leo Ryan, and what he went through to uncover the truth. God, I researched. I researched this stuff so much. I probably, at, at this point, I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably... Turn myself into a CIA asset researching this so, so, so damn much on the internet. But this stuff is interesting. But it could be, I never actually blamed. Who knows what happened? KGB, the CIA, who knows what really happened? I got some good ideas of what happened. But this poor Kaituma thing is fascinating.